Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a series preview to the Rochester Americans versus the Utica Comets as the Americans were able to beat their opponent twice in OT by the same score of 4-3 to three, thanks to Roostalainen in Game 1 and Murray in Game 2. And also good enough, not spectacular, but good enough goaltending by veteran Aaron Dell, who you would think is a veteran just like Corey Schneider is doing for... Um, the Bridgeport Islanders right now, he's going to be able to continue to improve and get better as he did have a good first round series. I would say it just wasn't perfect for him how he would probably fully want it to be. But when it comes to the Amherst, they had a great first round series from Fitzgerald, rookie Krebs, Roosterline, and Brett Murray. Jimmy Schultz was jumping up on the play more than you've ever seen. Sean Malone, Paterka was good as a rookie. So this team has a great mix of talent. The problem is a lot of them like Paterka, Rosek, Biro. Uh, Krebs are all really young in the league, and obviously Roostalainen, Fitzgeralds, and Murrays of the world haven't really been put into the gauntlet going up against a juggernaut like Utica at the Calder Cup playoff level. Uh, Jinkowski's obviously a veteran, Biro's a youngster as well, uh, so is um, so is a uh, Peter T uh, Tischke, um, I always mispronounce his name, well, and then Weisbach is also a rookie, so there's a lot of rooks on this team. Mark Alt, who's always been an AHL defenseman I've liked since his days with the Phantoms over here. Um, but I would say they have a chance. It's kind of like the same as I was getting into uh, in the video I did with the Bridgeport Islanders for people that want to go back and check that one out. Uh, they're just going up against the juggernaut of the division. The, the, the Islanders are going up against the Charlotte Checkers as the sixth place team, and now the fifth place team that was able to upset the fourth place team, but they were kind of really pretty even, Rochester and Belleville, as I said in that preview video, as they were able to win the two games there. Uh, by the same score of 4-3, to three, again, with Rusalainen and Murray being the heroes. The, they were only separated by 11 points in the league standings and were much closer in terms of opponents than I would say on paper and just from looking at things like that, the Charlotte Checkers and Bridgeport are, but I don't necessarily like to look at things like that, but I'm just saying from that perspective. But I would say Utica is going to win this series. They're the team I'm taking because they're so deep. They have the the concern I would have with Utica only is they have Akira Schmid, um, who's a rookie, obviously, but a very good one, and Nico Doles, who's a rookie, but a very good one in net. So is that going to affect them? Where well, Rochester has a lot of youngsters that aren't as proven uh, when it comes to this uh, going up against a juggernaut in the playoffs. Where they have the, the Leo as their top scorer, who's obviously been around for a bit when it comes to Utica. Then they have Zetterloon, they have A.J. Greer, they got Nolan Foote, Holtz is a rookie, Riley Walsh, Robbie Russo, who's been around for a bit, uh, Gambardella, who's been around for a minute, Gauthier, who's been around for a minute. So they got a perfect mix. Tyler Watherspoon's a great veteran defenseman who's been in the AHL for a while now. So I think the just depth-ridden team of the Utica Comets, who, similar to Charlotte, just have great depth, and just really push the offense well, but similar to Charlotte, play great defensively in terms of being able to get back as well. I don't think that matches up well for Rochester, just like I didn't think Charlotte matched up well for um, Bridgeport, just because those teams try to play defensive systems that try to limit you as much. And against teams like this, that's not going to help you because they're going to be pushing it too much. You're not going to be able to get enough goals, in my opinion, playing systems like that. So I definitely am taking the Utica comments, but I would say... Around, I gave Bridgeport a 20% chance. I would say it's around the same for Rochester to be able to upset, which is probably higher than some would give. But I would still have to go with the comments because obviously I'm giving them a much higher percent chance just because they're loaded. So, peace everybody. Stay safe. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use switch to keep us scrolling to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.